Have you ever wondered how to run a machine learning model on an ESP32 microcontroller? Today, we're turning this WaveShare ESP32 S3 board with its stunning 1.2 8-inch touch LCD into a smart device that can recognize hand-drawn letters. The ESP32 S3 Touch LCD board packs a dual-core 240 MHz processor, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and a crisp 1.2 8-inch touch display. With a built-in 512 kilobytes of SRAM, onboard 2 megabytes PS RAM, and an external 16 megabytes flash memory, this board is a good choice for an edge machine learning project. The board supports both Arduino and MicroPython frameworks, with WaveShare providing a good set of example projects to help get started quickly. Let's check out a quick demo of what we're building. We've trained a TensorFlow model to recognize the characters B, L, I, T, and Z. As you draw a letter on the screen with your finger, the ESP32 processes it in real time, runs the inference on board, and displays the detected character. The model works by converting your finger strokes into a 32 by 32 grid of pixels, which is then fed through a neural network that has been trained to recognize patterns in these drawings. For this project, we've limited the model to just five characters, but it can be expanded to recognize more. Now, let's dive into the project. Broadly, there are three key steps. First, we need to collect enough samples for each character we want the model to recognize. Next, we train the model on a computer to learn these patterns. Finally, we convert the trained model into a format compatible with the ESP32 allowing it to run inference directly on the board. Let's start with recording samples. We create a simple MicroPython program that runs on the ESP32 to collect touch data. When you draw a letter on the screen, it records the coordinates and transmits them over the serial port to the main computer. To make the collection of the samples easy on the main computer, we use another Python script that works in tandem with the ESP32 over the serial port. It prompts you to draw each letter multiple times and automatically saves the data in a structured format. We'll collect about 10 samples per letter. This might seem small, but it's enough for our simple demonstration. Next, we move to our computer for training our TensorFlow model. We create another Python script to process our touch data and convert it into a format suitable for training. Our ESP32 touchscreen has a resolution of 240 cross 240. But to create a small model, we scale it down to a binary grid of 32 cross 32, with one meaning touched and zero meaning not touched. Next, we load our recorded samples and prepare our dataset for training. We design a compact convolutional neural network with two convolutional layers, each followed by a max pooling layer. The output is then flattened into 1, 0 to 4, and 32 nodes. Before producing predictions for our five target classes, we train the model using the Atom Optimizer for 40 epochs and then visualize the results. Once we have our trained model, we need to convert it to TensorFlow Lite format. This is crucial because TensorFlow Lite is designed for running on embedded devices like our ESP32. The conversion process optimizes the model size and performance while maintaining accuracy. For the final step, we'll use the Arduino SDK to write a sketch that runs our trained model on the ESP32. But first, let's install the necessary library to get everything set up. Go to the library manager and install the micro TF Lite library along with its dependencies. There are several libraries available but I found this one to be the easiest to use and integrate with our project. If you haven't already, set up your Arduino IDE to support the ESP32 S3 boards. You can go through the WaveShare documentation or see any other setup tutorial. The sample code provided by WaveShare has a couple of Arduino examples. It is recommended that you first run them to ensure your hardware is working fine and that all your Arduino settings and library versions are correct. We will be building on the provided ESP32 S3 Touch LCD 1.28 test code base, so make sure it is running as expected. If not, ensure that your ESP library is the correct version as mentioned in the documentation. Once you have downloaded the sample code, 
copy the contents of the Touch LCD 1.28 test folder into a new sketch. The sample code already has the LCD and Touch driver files that we will be building our code upon. Finally, let's look at our inference code that will run the model on the ESP32 to classify our hand-drawn images. We first set up a contiguous block of memory allocated to store the tensors and ensure that our model file is correctly referenced. Our code utilizes touch and display drivers provided by WaveShare to continuously capture user input. It then scales the drawn image down to 32 cross 32 pixels before feeding it into the TensorFlow Lite model for inference. Finally, the detected result is displayed on the screen. Before uploading the code, ensure all Arduino settings are configured correctly. Once uploaded, the model should load successfully on the device. Try drawing the characters on the screen and observe how accurately the model classifies them in real time. Before we go, let's look at some interesting cases. We note that for characters L, I, T, and Z, the convolutional neural network works quite well even if the drawn image is quite different from the training data. But for character B, we sometimes get misclassification. This is possibly due to the fact that B has multiple curves and enclosed regions, making it harder for the model to distinguish it especially with a scaled down image. Try training your own model and share your results in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your ideas for other exciting machine learning projects on the ESP32.